Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this given nested radical problem by simplifying it in a step-by-step -step process. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our nested radical problem and let's focus on this part only 30 times square root of 35. And here I have copied down 30 times square root of 35 and here I can factor it out 30 as 2 times 3 times 5 and likewise the square root of 35 could be written as square root of 5 times square root of 7. So therefore we can write this whole thing as 2 times 3 times 5 5 times square root of 5 times square root of 7 and now let me go ahead and rearrange these numbers I can write this one as 2 times and then I'm going to write down 5 times square root of 7 that means I have connected these 5 and square root of 7 and likewise I'm going to connect this uh, 3 times square root of 5. Now let's go ahead and revert back to our original this nested radical problem. So this thing could be written as uh, square root of 220 and then minus this whole thing I am going to replace it by this. So I can write 2 times 5 times square root of 7 and then times 3 times square root of 5. Now let's focus on this 5 times square root of 7. Let me just go ahead and write down 5 times square root of 7 and let's take the square of this one that is going to give us 5 square times square root of 7 and then square and this 5 square is going to be 25 and here the square and square root they undo each other times 7 so 25 times 7 is going to be 175 so that means this whole thing is equal to 75 and likewise let's focus on this part 3 times square root of 5 I have just copied it down let's go ahead and square this one as well so we got 3 square times the square root of 5 and then square so 3 square is going to be 9 times the square and square root they undo each other we got times so that is going to give us 45 so that means this whole thing simplified to 45 now let's focus on this part 220 isn't it 220 is same as 175 plus 45 so therefore we can write this one 220 could be written as 175 plus 45 minus 2 times 5 times square root of 7 times 3 times square root of 5 and now in this next step 175 I am going to replace it by this 5 times square root of 7 square because this is equal to 175 and likewise this 45 I am going to replace it by 3 times square root of 5 square because this is equal to 45 so let me go ahead and write down this thing square root of this whole thing is going to be 5 times square root of 7 and then square plus likewise 3 times 5 square root and then square and the rest is same 
2 times 5 square root of 7 and then times 3 times square root of 5 and now we can see that this represents a perfect square if I call this one as an a square and this plus this is as a b square minus 2 times this I call it a and this b then we can use this well-known formula as you can see over here a square plus b square minus 2 a b equal to a minus b square so therefore i can write this whole thing as a square root of 5 times square root of 7 and then minus 3 times square root of 5 and then square and now we can see that this square and square root they undo each other so this could be written as simply 5 times square root of 7 minus 3 times square root of 5 so thus our simplified answer turns out to be a 5 times square root of 7 minus 3 times square root of 5 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye